Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to share with you just uh, a few empties that I have and, you know, mainly do a little bit of a chit chat type of a video. Um, since my last video, I um, had come on and I had sort of gave, given you an update on my ear surgery and how I was doing. And I said I was going to get back and do a video that weekend and I didn't. I, I kind of took a turn for the worse. I just kind of I don't know if I just got into a funk, more or less, um, but I found the recovery of my ear surgery to be a bit more complex than I thought it would be. So I had a, a high level of pain and I also had a high level of discomfort, you know, just a general discomfort. So they did give me pain pills, but I didn't want to really take them that much, so I didn't want to, you know, end up taking them all the time so I didn't do that but today it'll be it'll be this coming Wednesday I'm filming this on a Monday uh, two days from now it will be a week and the doctor had said I would be it'd be 10 days <clears throat> so I am feeling much better but as I tried to describe to Babs who had reached out to me and she left me this this long message. Well, you know Babs, right? She's always long-winded. But she left me this message, and we and she's and so we were talking back and forth, a voice message on FaceTime. And as I was trying to explain to her that it wasn't quite feeling me yet, and I said the same thing to both Sheila, Marlene, and to Natalie, the beauty diva, uh, in a message to the three of them. I'm almost me, but I'm not quite me yet. So. I don't quite know how to explain that. I think I think the surgery just kicked my butt more so than I thought. So that was kind of interesting. And I still haven't heard from my Mohs surgery yet. I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm taking so much time off from work. I worked a half a day today. This afternoon I took it off, did a couple of things. And then, I mean, I would do some stuff and then go back down on the couch and do some stuff, go back down on the couch. It's kind of like... I can't seem to find Monica yet. <laughs> it's like this sort of broken me. <laughs> I want the real me. So anyways, long story short, I, um, a couple of products I want to mention. I, I have noticed, and many of you probably have noticed this as well as, as you get older, your brows just kind of disappear. And my brows have never been perfect. Some of you said I should go have them shaped. I should have them lifted up higher and, you know, have the, the, the tattoos and all that. And I thought about that, but I've just never done it. But my brows themselves, even though I use my, um, I use my, my eyelash serum, blank eyelash serum on my eyelashes, every now and then I would put it on my brows, but it was never really consistent. So I saw this on the Octoly Network, and I said, if they prove me, I'm going to give this a whirl. And this is the Grandy Brow, and it is from, from Grandy Cosmetics, and um, I'm looking forward to this. This is supposed to be a, a brow enhancing serum. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to take a picture of my brows without any brow product on, which right now I have. And, and I'm going to start using this as directed. So this was, again, gifted to me via the Octoly Network from Grandy Cosmetics. And um, I'm actually excited because if I can get some filling, fill in, in the sparts of, uh, parts of my brows that are very, very sparse, that have not a lot of hair, I think that would be really awesome. I do use a couple of different brow products to kind of darken my brows because they're very, very blonde. But um, still, even so, you know, I'm never really happy with them. So I'm super looking forward to this. I'll definitely report back on it after I've used it and show you the before and afters and things like that. I'm just like super, super tickled. I finally, I finished two, uh, two mascaras. And um, both of them, of course, you know, I happen to really love, love the Essence Lash Princess. This is the the one in black and purple. This is the one that works the best for me. I already have my replacement. I tend to toss these maybe sooner than some of you will, only because I think they're so affordable. I don't need to keep one for six weeks. It probably would be fine for six weeks, but I don't want to keep it for six weeks. So toss that, got rid of it, finished up my Peaches Classic um, Cleanser. I have one that I bought. 
and I've also labeled it. I kind of label when I start these. So this was January 26th of 2021. And I think I've shown this a couple of times in, when it was near empty, but it's finally bone dry, empty, ready to be tossed. I have bought the replacement. I, I absolutely love the Peaches Skin Care products, the cleanser. I love the exfoliator. I, I love how clean my skin is with this. I've not tried a lot of the other products. I, uh, I probably would. I mean, I do have the vitamin C. I, I have their, the vinegar toner that I use. I really like that. There's a lot of Peaches products that I really like, but I haven't used all of it. And um, so I'm not gonna vouch for all of it, but I will tell you the system that I use to clean my skin has been awesome. I really, really like it. I have finished the Equate Hair Regrowth Treatments. You know, I was um, I was contacted by one of the larger companies that sell the hats, the helmets that you put on for hair regrowth. You might have seen a number of YouTubers um, review that product and talk about that product. Anyways, they reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in it. And I, I said, absolutely, because I do, by the way, have dramatically thinning hair. And I would be the perfect candidate to actually test this on. And um, so we'd love that opportunity to use it and share it with my subscribers because a lot of women that watch me also have hair issues as well. So, um, so I was really super excited. I thought, wow, this is awesome. They fell off the face of the earth. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know if they fell off the face of the earth because I said I really have thinning hair as opposed to some of the women that have reviewed it. Their hair, in my opinion, is not thinning hair. I mean, they may have a little bit receding hair. There might be some lighter spots, but it's not thinning hair the way I have thinning hair or the way I consider thinning hair to be. So maybe I scared them off. So I'm kind of bummed that they disappeared. I've actually, after the first contact, I waited weeks. I responded. I waited weeks and didn't hear anything. I thought, well, maybe my response went into the junk mail. So I, I sent him a message saying, just in case, I am interested in reviewing. I think I would be a perfect candidate to review your product and share it with my subscribers. I'd love the opportunity. Thank you for offering it. Nothing. Nada, 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 zippa. So, um, yeah. So I don't know what to make of it. If they do reach out to me, I'll obviously grab it and use it. But I think maybe they were concerned that I had maybe too much hair loss or too much thinning hair. So yeah, Equate, I use this, I use Ladies Rogaine, I use all of the potions and, and drops and everything um, I can. So this is empty, I do have a replacement, I do like it. I have finished the Skin Perfecting Daily Veil City Beauty. This was sent to me complimentary quite a while ago. I get a lot of City Beauty products that have sent to me complimentary. And I really, I like, I like a lot of the City Beauty products. I probably would not buy this again. I found this to be, it does have the sunscreen, the broad spectrum, daily veil, perfecting. I, th I found on my skin, I think my skin was too dry for this to really, to really do it justice. So um, the other thing I want to talk to you about is my dry eye. I have been on that and you guys know you've been with me when I couldn't even look at my lights without you know blinking or crying or tearing up or whatever it's been really awful but I have gone through a couple of different prescriptions and different drops and all that well in January my eye doctor subscribed eye drops and my copay was over $500 and it was because I had not met my deductible and all that. And I was like hemming and hawing. I'm like, going, oh my gosh. So I, I said, oh my gosh, do I, uh, do I really, really want to do this? It's Restasis. I can never pronounce it. Because it was, the copay was crazy expensive. The doctor had given me, I don't want to open it, um, because the doctor had given me a couple of uh, packages of samples. So I thought, well, and bite the bullet and get it. I had used the samples. They seem to 
have made a difference. I also had samples of another eye, eye uh, drops and that didn't seem to make a difference. So this I've been using religiously twice a day in the morning and in the evening. And then overnight, sometimes I will at night, sometimes a couple of times, it depends if I wake up, I'll wear a heated eye mask that, um, that I've actually reviewed because it's like really awesome. I have it plugged in by my bed and I put it on. And that makes a big difference. So between these drops, my heated eye mask, and then just the regular drops that I might go throughout the day, my eye feels knock on wood. My eye feels like it used to. You know, it just, I said to Jay the other day, I said, I cannot believe, I said, I'm looking at my eye, it looks clear. I can open my eye, I can, I can look into the sun. I cannot believe how good my eye feels. So this stuff is tremendously expensive. I'm supposed to put one drop in both eyes. Well, I only have one affected eye, so I've only been using the one eye and use it twice daily. When I go for my follow-up, I've got a follow-up visit in um, a couple of weeks for this. I am going to mention another condition that I want him to look at that Sheila, simply Sheila had uh, told me about. So I'm going to talk to him about that. But so far, guys, the $500 hurts to spend it. And especially if it doesn't work, right? Then it really hurts. But if it works, I'll spend it. As long as I can, I can, I can you know, now that's a copay. Next time I order it, it'll probably be less. Um, but as long as I can and it works like this, I'm going to do whatever I can to afford the medication. And what a difference. I almost feel like my eyes are back to normal. <laughs> Knock on wood, right? I almost feel that way. Um, but anyways, on my head today, this is a hair piece that I have. Sorry, you want to grab it? Um, this is Beltress. I'm just going to mention it because I talked about, you know, the hat, the helmet treatment that, um, that you can get for hair regrowth. Well, I am wearing a topper, and this is Beltress. This is what they call Top Volume 6. It is a volume topper so that it does have some waves and textures. And this is in the color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream, which is really super close to my bio hair. Now, my bio hair is a little bit longer than I normally wear it, but um, when I go, I'll probably have my hair cut, and this 6-inch topper will, will actually work out perfectly. So this was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio. I'm going to do a quick spin. Just because I know some of you will be interested and some of you won't, but um, this was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio 1. I have done a review on this on their channel. Um, if whichever one gets published first, I'll link it so that you know. But this is actually pretty cool. Now, I am wearing this all the way down on my forehead because it has a lace front where normally when I wear my toppers, I wear my toppers further back and I have my own bio hair pulled in the front. For me to do this with this topper, I would have to darken my bio hair a little bit with, with um, you know, probably with a fill powder, which I can do easy enough because my bio bangs are a lot lighter than the lace front section of, of this. So brown sugar sweet cream, heat friendly fibers, Beltress, lace front mono top, six inch volume topper. I think it looks really cool. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope I can say she's back. I hope. <laughs>